locking dimensions. Once we've added a permanent dimension, we can use the lock control to lock it down. So I'm going to pick on this 11 foot dimension. When I pick on it, yeah, I get this little lock. I'm going to pick on the lock and I'm going to create the lock. At this point, I can't change the width of those two uh, uh, objects. Those two elements are locked down or pinned down, if you will. And, you know, I can move everything with um, my dimension in the windows. I can move them, but I can't alter the dimension width of it. So in order for me to make a change, I have to come over and unlock the dimension. Then I can come in here and change the value of these two windows if I needed to. But uh, this is a good way of, um, of pinning down important dimensions uh, and constraining yourself to those dimensions.